green flag is my army. They're to be engaged at any opportunity. That's return fire coming back at us. Yeah, they're shooting back. Fuck that motherfucker when he comes around the corner. Hit him now! Got that. Got a big group coming. Yep, on the wall. Squeezing off. Okay, hit him again, hit him again, hit him again. Oh, we got We got return fire coming from the front. Eric, return fire from the front out here. Come on, building two. Taking cover, you got more coming. Jesus Christ, it's like a fucking turkey shoot. If you're unaware of what the Battle of Najaf is, you know, you're just kind of stumbling across this video or you've questioned why we celebrated in the past. In a nutshell, it's basically the the largest insurgent assault of the Iraq war. Not like people will kind of reference Fallujah where there's a thousand insurgents that we were fighting against. Yeah, that's the Marines going in and fighting against the, the Iraqi insurgents in Fallujah. No, this is where the Iraqi insurgents, the Mahdi army, who fell under Muqtadr al-Sadar's control actually pushed in on us and we had to respond to it. And if it wasn't for the brave actions of Ambassador Paul Bremer, the presidential envoy of the country at the time, and the air and ground teams of Blackwater to go in and by any means necessary, as Ambassador Paul Bremer said, to get our people out, I think it would have been a different outcome. And the objective here is not to stir up the hornet's nest and, and talk about what the CIA was doing and talk about the State Department or the DOD or coalition commanders, bad decisions or any of those things. It's not that, it's not the intention. The intention is to talk about this, this journey, this, this, well, I guess if you look and I ask you the journey and destination of life, which one's more important? I guarantee a lot of us would say, well, of course it's the journey. I've thought about that a lot. And I think in this case, it's not the journey or the destination, it's the people. The people, in this case, that I want to preserve the memory of men that when the call went out, didn't hesitate whatsoever to put foot to ask for their brothers, foot to ask for the coalition forces that were there, foot to ask for the U.S. military that were stranded on the rooftop that day, the Iraqi people that we care about in the free world and the highest moral code. That's why I want to historically preserve this day for the men and women that fought in that battle. And I look back, you know, because there's a lot of people trying to purposely forget history in today's world as you look around. I'm not going to let that happen here. And I, you know, I come from eight generations of gunfighter in the Haley family, and I wonder how many significant stories of heroism, or maybe not, maybe things that we should have learned lessons from, weren't told. And we never got a chance to learn from it. And so I think on this day, and as we get closer, I'm going to tell more of the story from my perspective of what happened on 444. On April 4, 2024, I want to tell you guys what's happening. So first thing is that we're doing a site-wide 20% off and in the store as well. So again, we're opening the house, we're opening up our doors. We're going to have a couple different vendors here I'll tell you about here in a second. But if you come to the showroom or you go on our website, you will get 20% off. On top of that, the first tier you're gonna get is a free turkey shooter patch. Now, we brought this back, if you remember this. If you've never seen it before, you're probably gonna like, why is there a turkey with an AK on a patch? Jesus Christ, it's like a fucking turkey shoot. Well, now you kinda know the rest of the story. So, with that, everybody's gonna get one of those for free. And the next tier you're gonna get, and all the rules will be on our banners, be on our website, be on our social media, so you can kind of see what you got to do to get some of these things. That's freebie, everybody gets one of those. Uh, the next one's going to be a really cool custom limited edition patch that we do with Kit Fox Designs. They're also doing a sticker that comes with that. And it's the most detailed patch I've ever seen, period. And it's of this rifle, just to commemorate that day, because this has kind of become a symbol of that day. You can even see fire and safe on the patch. You can see all the, I mean, they did an incredible design. I'm really excited to be working with Kit Fox Designs. And the next thing we're doing to commemorate, and this is the biggest thing we're doing, to commemorate the Battle of Najaf, we're doing a custom print. Now, our partners in crime, Black Petter, Red Earth, if you guys know these dudes, phenomenal graphic novels. I'll get into more of that in a second. But John Chang and Josh Taylor, John's been a friend of mine and partner of mine, started SDI back in the day, went to Magpul with me, started a Haley Strategic, created the Dragonfly logo, I've been my partner in crime for almost 20 years to almost right after this event. I got home and he called me up and said, hey, 
let's do some stuff together and uh, the rest is kind of history but Josh is the artist and John's the executive producer on this whole thing and this print that we're doing is just absolutely amazing and we wanted to do that in three different sizes for you if you want to help share and of course that 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 historic preservation of this event we always appreciate you guys you know hanging that on your walls and, and hopefully you enjoy this because I certainly did in the development of this also the Black Proud of Red Earth team is going to be here so John and Josh will be here with me that day and if you haven't seen their artwork and their graphic designs, Black Petal Red Earth has a deep story behind it. And one day, I'm not going to share anything, but I hope it comes out. But for now, what they did is they ended up doing the, the, the conflict in Iraq. And if you look through this book and you see the detail in it, you almost have to be an operator to understand some of the language in it as well. So really, really cool stuff there. And again, it's, it's kind of its own historic preservation of the Iraq war and some of the conflicts that happened on the special operations side of the house. So those guys will be here. They're gonna have their swag and their books to sell. They also got their Amazon store on Black Powder Red Earth. You can go there and check out that stuff. They're also doing a raffle and they're giving away an upper receiver. And it's an upper receiver collaboration between BPRE and BCM Rifles. They're going to be giving away number 50. It's the last one, and you have to be in store here in Scottsdale to get it. So if you guys are local and you're coming out for that day, you'll get a raffle ticket. Hang out. The times are going to be from 9 to 9, 9 a.m. when we open, and we're going to shut down at 9 p.m. That way, if you guys uh, you know, worried about getting off of work, don't worry. We're going to be open for you if you can swing by and get that raffle ticket to win that upper receiver. Lastly will be showcasing our new low vis line We've got some new low vis plate carriers coming out and we're going to do that in conjunction with the dread and fear of kings now the dread and fear of kings are known as dfk is a, a mission tailored luxury brand okay if you can kind of imagine that basically if john wick was a real person as i think uh eric graves said this on soldier systems he'd be wearing DFK clothing. So just check out the Dread and Fear of Kings. The stuff is absolutely amazing. Even if you can't afford it, it's just cool to see that much quality go into something. All made in Italy and hand sewn, hand done the shoes. I mean, I, I, I do have a pair of the shoes, absolutely most comfortable shoes I've ever worn in my life. So if you guys wanna check that out and you can afford it with some disposable income, I would highly suggest wearing it. It's incredible stuff. And in closing here, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta read this to you guys. And it's basically the brand name, the Dread and Fear of Kings. The Dread and Fear of Kings is both a nod to the line from Shakespeare's play, which was the Merchant of Venice, and the standard that we hold ourselves to. The true Dread and Fear of Kings is not the power politicians wield against the population, but rather a capable and thinking population that is not easily misled by opportunists. A scepter is only a powerful weapon against a population who doesn't know otherwise. I think that kind of sums up why we're celebrating this conflict and why we're opening our house, you know, why we're creating this, this story about the people, not the journey or the destination, but the historic preservation of incredible Americans and incredible humans around the planet that helped make the world just a little bit better place in those two days. Guys, hope you can join us on April 4th here in Scottsdale, or at least online. I'm Travis Haley, thanks for joining me. Stay sharp, be safe, and die free.